Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Call me to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. So God says, I'm going to cut you off as a people, and you're going to go serve your enemies in a land that you know not. You know what that land is? America. We live in hell right now. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 5. What I'm going to show you right now is that the Christianity lied to you. Hell is a condition. It's not a place with a lot of fire. America is going to become hell in the future for those that don't make it. It's, it's a dire situation. For thou art the holy people unto the Lord thy God. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are holy people to the Most High God. But we don't think that. We'd rather be GDs, BDs, Stones, Vice Lords, and real niggas. A nigga was something that was created in the laboratory by the white man. They gave us music and they gave us movies that said kill, 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 be a whoremonger, lay with all these women. You can't even be a stand-up man no more and just go to work, take care of your wife, and raise your kids. Nowadays, you call that an L7, a square, a lane. Why? Because I want to take care of my wife, my kids. Yeah, no, you got to have a lot of girlfriends. No, I don't. I love God. You love God? We do too. But the thing is, you know what come with loving God? Finish this off. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people. You've been chosen, Glenn. Yes, You've been chosen, bro. Yes. You've been chosen, Willie. Yes. You've been chosen. Yes. We gotta yes. take that calling and answer the phone and pick up and say, God, I'm ready to serve. Yes. We gotta stop playing games yes. with it. We gotta call on one another. You said we gotta call on one another? This is what we gotta do. Give me that in Jeremiah. Uh, what's that, 17 and 4. Because the thing that Willie said was something heavy about us being disconnected from each other. The main thing that we disconnected from is this Bible. Yeah. We got to get back to this Bible. Watch this. Read. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. So we're about to read a prophecy. Jeremiah is going to speak about something that's going to happen in the future to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. When you look on this sign, that's what your race is. That's your true identity. You ain't African-American, colored, Negro, none of that. If your father is a so-called African-American, Hispanic, you are an Israelite. That's what your race is. That's your identity. It means prince of the power, that's prince right. of the true living God. That's, that's who you are. How good does that feel to know that? I feel real good. I yes. feel all fine. It feels, you feel unstoppable. The thing is, when we get those spiritual powers back from the Father, we truly will be. Yes. Read. Right. And thou, I want to prove a point you said. And thou, even thyself. So God says, hey, hey Willie, check this out. So God talking to Jeremiah, he said, thou, even thyself. So the people, including you, read, shall discontinue from thine heritage. It says, shall what? Discontinue from thy inheritance. What does it mean to this something to be discontinued? You say what? You say bring it back together. What you think it means? You say what? It be gone. It be gone, right? You you hear that? Disconnect. It's go back to what you said. There's no communication. The line has been cut amongst us. It's going into what Bro just said in the Bible said. We've been cut off from. Hey, come build with us, bro. We we your brothers. Come build with your brothers. So what you said is some heavy. No, just take the flyer, come build with us. Nah. So the Bible said that the Israelites will be what? Discontinued. You will be discontinued, you meaning cut off, free from thine heritage. From your heritage. You know what the heritage of the black man is? The Bible. But you know what heritage we picked up? The colors of blue, black, pitchforks, trays, three fingers coming across our chest, screaming all well. A, a star in the crescent moon, Allah. We picked up these things and discontinued from our true heritage. Right. You know what your true heritage is? You say God, right? Read on. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. So God says, I'm going to cut you off as a people, and you're going to go serve your enemies in a land that you know not. You know what that land is? America. We live in hell right now. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 5. What I'm going to show you right now is that the Christianity lied to you. Hell is a condition. It's not a place with a lot of fire. America is going to become hell in the future for those that don't make it. 
it's, it's a dire situation. What you see is brothers coming from a place of urgency. Because check it out, Glenn. One day, your, the spirit don't die. Your spirit is going to dwell somewhere forever. Whether it's in a lake of fire in Babylon or in the kingdom with your brothers celebrating living life. Right. It ain't no in between. It's no such thing as purgatory where you just go to sleep forever. That's why it's dire that you take this important. Don't cast it off. Get the flyer, get the information, call and come build with your brothers. It's not a coincidence that you bumped into us. This is of the Lord. Read. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. So we finna show you what hell is. Because if I was to ask you, what does the world say hell is? What do you think it is? A pit burning fire with people that's bad that pass away and did wrong. Okay, so a pit burning with fire and a red man with a pitchfork poking you and all that. That's all BS, bro. That's all stuff that's been taught to us in Christianity. It's all lies. And what we got here to do is brainwash you, meaning cleanse your mind of all the BS they told you. Right. Bring it out. This is a princess to the most high. That's How you right. doing, sister? Read. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. So what we out here to do, what's your name? Michelle, right? So what we out here to do, this is my brother Glenn. We got our brother over here, sister over here. What we out here to do is to show our people who they are according to the Bible, That's the right. Israelites. That's our true identity. We ain't African American, we ain't colored, we ain't black, we ain't Negro, we ain't niggas. None of that. That's all lies that were taught us to keep us in slavery. You know what a nigga would do? A nigga would kill somebody that looked like him. That's what we trying to destroy, that mentality amongst our people. We trying to destroy the nigga mentality and raise up gods. Because that's what the Bible calls the black man, a god on earth. But until we start living like it, the world gonna see us as niggas and goofballs. That's what the world see us as. Because all we do is play, joke, we don't take nothing serious, and the whole world is going on. When people see Russians, they see Chinese people, they see Arab people, they see serious, intelligent nations of people. They see us, they see clowns. They see entertainment. They see jokes. They see things that they can feed off of. Everybody leeching off us. They talk about how, oh, your skin is dirty, but then they go tan for hours. They talk about, oh, your big, disgusting lips, and they spend tens of thousands to get the Botox. Everybody talk about how bad and disgusting we are, but everybody want to be like you. Right. Everybody, everybody want the hair that you got on your head. But then we turn around and we ashamed of it. Don't be ashamed of your greatness, sis. You hear me, Glenn? That skin you got is greatness, bro. It's greatness. Read. Because they have no knowledge. So what we doing, sis, is we showing what hell is according to the Bible. Hey, no, hey. Uh, hey, what we showing? What we showing our people what hell is according to the Bible. You understand me? It's a condition. Because I, hey, sis, I asked Glenn. I said, what is hell? And he told me what they told us in Christianity. A, a fire pit with people that's bad down there in pork with a pitchfork and all that. That's not what hell is. What you got to understand, you're living in hell right now. You know why? Because when you read the Bible about the Israelite woman, your feet wasn't even supposed to touch the ground, sis. Bring it out. You were supposed to be carried, nurtured. Treated like not a queen, but a princess to the most high. Because you right. don't read about Israelite queens. You are greatness. This is a God on earth. But until we wake up and realize it, we're going to be taken as a joke. We returning his true identity to him and to you. And to you. Read. And there, honorable men are famished. Read it again from the top. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. So God says, my people, meaning the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel, have gone into what? Captivity. We have gone into captivity. Are we in captivity right now? Slavery. And the word for captivity is slavery. So when you look at this right here, that is really real. We really went into slavery and had our backs beaten. That really happened to our ancestors. So God says, my people what? Born in captivity. The Israelites, the true Jews, they have gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished. So God says, give me knowledge. God says, you Israelites, you're going to go into captivity of slavery. You know why? Because there's no knowledge amongst our community. Like you got the, the Cinco de Mayo, everybody proud to be Mexican, proud to be Puerto Rican, proud to be African, proud to be black. These are all deities, idolatry, and false idols that's not of us. These things are not of God. We got to cast those things away and come back to our God. Pull over and come build with us. We got we to gotta cast that stuff off and come build. Because you got to understand, sister, who you are. Read. Y'all need to come build with your brothers over here. Let me ask you a question, sis. What's your name again? Michelle, right? 
Everybody like to talk about how the black man ain't ish. We they kick us in the, I mean, tear us down. Everybody like to say how bad we are. Why is it that when we got men like Glenn, like bro, that want to listen to the Bible, that want to build the community up, why is it that we shun black men that do that? I'm asking my sister, because I'm going to be honest with you, sister. Majority of the people that come against us, if you're the black woman. Why is that? Well, mama's strong on me on that is everybody deserves a chance. Everybody deserves a chance. I like that, sis. And that's all we ask of our sister. Because majority of the time, it be our sisters that's coming against us when we supposed to get back to back and build. Y'all supposed to have our backs so that we can be encouraged to go out here and take this kingdom back. You feel me, right? Okay, right. And that's what we about to do. You what is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.